Peter Sunda, the co-founder of the BitTorrent file sharing website Pirate Bay, was arrested in Sweden on Sunday after two years on the run. The Sydney Morning Herald reports the 35-year-old was arrested after becoming a fugitive in 2012 when Swedish officials dismissed his final appeal over copyright violation charges. That's after he was ordered to serve eight months in prison and slapped with a $4 million fine back in 2010. Sunda wasn't the only suspect Interpol was after in this case. Swedish police nabbed three other members of the popular file-sharing site for breaking copyright laws. If found guilty, they face $6.7 million in fines and up to a year of jail time per person. The local reports Sunda's lawyer said his client did nothing wrong. He's incredibly talented, and I still think that judgment was wrong. You have to be at the forefront if you are going to be successful. But despite its legal woes, the popular peer-to-peer -peer network is still up and running. So you can rest easy if you don't have HBO subscriptions, at least for now. Pirate Bay has been around now for more than a decade. The site also contends it's not really breaking any copyright rules because it doesn't store actual content on the server. It's all peer-to-peer -peer sharing. Only torrent files are saved at the server. That means no copyrighted and or illegal material are stored by us. It is therefore not possible to hold the people behind the Pirate Bay responsible for the material that is being spread using the tracker. And of course, Pirate Bay is not alone. This is just the latest crackdown against file sharing websites. Last week, United Kingdom police suspended the domain of one of the largest torrent search engines, torrents.eu. Authorities also took down a similar site called FileCrop, and other domains might be subjected to similar treatment. Apparently, if the suspension isn't lifted, torrents.eu is looking to circumvent the process and simply transfer all of its info to an entirely new domain. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.